Hunter is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. See you, old friend. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, you'll get to see it.
We should return to camp. If Laura lets go, burn this pit to the ground. Going forward. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return. Trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me. So the end of the storm is well in sight. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. Betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard. And now Grand Bridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news.
Eivor, have you seen Wallace? Evo, a moment. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Have you spoke with Hytham about Finland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. That use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chill, Bed. Your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Jalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Stop! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many! Now come! The battle roars already! Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons! All others stay here! With me! For battle, Randri! It does! Hey, no, father! Keep focus!
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. While there's none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. May there be one who mourns you at home, for we will not. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Randvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Now these wayward Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Ranvi, but Dag is right. For once you see clearly. I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. Then we talk of our next steps, together. Be. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. 
a pack of them, lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Good to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. We'll make the trip east, then. Speak to this Finnier myself. A good plan.
I took from the Lady of the Crack. May fit. Two more blades may fit here. Norwich, suffering hard times, I see. of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here is the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. 
If they know me, then that means my legend has grown. Just awful. What a clown you are. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. Well, they say you are a fool, as I tend to believe. They're right. You are awful at this. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Who said this about me? I'll kill them outright. Mm, that one could use some work. <laughs> you're even worse than they say. Thought it might be gossip, but it's all true. I'll be sure to spread word of your failure across England. You would do better to shut your mouth. I'll be back. happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Afton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finir, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. What do you see, Sunan? Oh, 
squashed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's beat me. This place is heavily guarded. Four guys my blow. <laughs> Just watch my back. <laughs> Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at all to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. 
Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Without beast. <gasps> A healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust us. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ will command. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Vinir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride-to-be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that The is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and sheep pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. <laughs> That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <laughs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise.
to use Oswald to sit out for the day. To a word with him. Soon in. Guide me. <laughs> ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the moo of a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Pinner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the Hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. 
He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, Kerr, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawl from the womb, you are ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnia wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Sea Henge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Follow you, Abel, to glory and father. Join your blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day. Each herd that has. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. 
I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe will silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. Ah! We'll forge your king out of you yet. Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. Don't hold back. You want me to fight? You felt that one. I'm still here. You expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. I'll do what I need to do. You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! Finish this, Avoy! Thanks me for what? Avor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will. But with spirit and courage, always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. But living through it, a seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results, redress old wrongs, fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. There! A military encampment! God's here, They've left none alive. Neither will we. Can't lose me. Follow my lead. Your souls are all dead. I see any of you now. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Whatever compels you, hang on to it! It's a fight you seek!
nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard one fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to Norwich, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. <laughs> 